Hi, I'm Clemens from Exocat. Today we are proud to present to you the highlights of Dendrocat 3.1 Rieka. This release is the result of countless conversations with our customers, friends and a dedicated research team of software developers. We implemented 45 new features and enhanced 85 features as well. So you will find your favorite tools more efficient and convenient in a simplified design journey to save many, many clicks and plenty of time doing your design. Let's explore the new features together in the next minutes. Faster single unit designs. By starting a single unit restoration from our dental DB, you can get a nice feeling of efficiency from Rieka. After we selected the margin and insertion direction, we proceed to the tooth placement step. At first sight, you can move and transform the tooth free from small or large regions and free from specific parts. Also, you can adjust the abrasion with a slider and choose between morph or cut anatomy to adapt the occlusion right away so you are already done with the tooth placement. Minimum thickness options. If necessary, you can adjust the minimum thickness from within the wizard window. The first three options are always available. First, respect normally, the default option. Second, cut locally to antagonist. By looking at the cut view in the lower right corner, you can see how the antagonist is influencing the new calculated minimum thickness. And third, reduce everywhere. Again, the minimum thickness is recalculated, this time all over it. The yellow warning triangles will indicate that the thickness is still within the allowed limits provided by the material configuration. Two additional options with the red warning triangles are only available if the material provider allows it to reduce even below the minimum value. So let's keep option 2. Library Overview if you would like to change the tooth library, you can open this great overview with occlusal and vestibular previews, which makes it easier to pick the right one. Improved freeforming. We improved the freeforming tab as well. The adapt feature, for example, is now placed right next to smooth and flatten, showing an overview of all the adaption parameters at a glance. Also, cut all intersections is always available now. And second, by highlighting the affected area. Here, the green marking indicates the area that will be affected. This way, you know exactly what to expect from the tool you selected, even before you start using it. Magic! Updated settings menu. We respect your freedom to decide for yourself which option you prefer by default. Therefore, we added plenty of new settings for you like the show distance initial mode, for example. Choose your preferred way to look at contact areas from a visualization of the intersections, measuring the distance, or a visualization of the contacts as occlusion paper. Virtual articulator. We have integrated these beautiful new articulators for you and optimized the integration entirely. Do you remember in previous versions that you always had to leave the freeforming step to make changes on the virtual articulator? Not anymore. Now you can adjust the articulator movements directly without leaving the wizard. Therefore, you can select the affected teeth by brush or teeth without leaving the wizard inside the freeforming dialog. This new integration speeds up your design process especially for upper and lower restorations in one go. Reuse tooth setups. Now that we have created a design, let me show you one more time saver. 3.1 Rieka saves the tooth setup automatically and makes them available for further designs, even before the restorations are saved. Now you can use the same tooth setup for multiple designs along the patient's journey. For example, a mock-up, a clip-on, a temporary or final restoration. Let me show you a dedicated demo sample we prepared for you. First, we will duplicate our existing smile design mock-up or temporary we designed on an unprepped case. 
Here is it important to include the design files, of course. Remember, you can import new scan data easily and convenient with a load extra draw scan. After we change the indication from mockup to anatomic crown, we save the new project and start the design. The software asks if we want to benefit from the previous setup, either by loading the design tooth models or converting them to a pre-op C2 scan. This is how you can save plenty of time by reusing jobs you have already designed. Merge scene files. Especially our experienced users love add and remove mesh. Imagine you can load a secondary dental cat scene file with a click on load from scene into your project. Currently this is a beta feature and we are working on further improvements, but you can already try it. In a separate window with the show height menu, you can select the objects you want to import, decide the target and if you want multiple objects, to be merged before importing. At the same time, Rieka provides a guided scan data alignment feature to make sure that objects show up in the correct position. Multiple antagonist scans. Also, it is now possible to deal with multiple antagonists in the same project. Therefore, you add them first as a generic visualization. With a right click on one of the scans, you can convert either antagonists to visualization objects or the other way around, a visualization object to an antagonist. Just confirm with OK to continue with the new antagonist of your choice. Import Chairside Cat Scan Info. After an interval scan, ideally dentists set the insertion direction and define the margin line by themselves. The Chairside Cat automatically saves this important information and transfer it to the lab via dental share. Highly automated pre-op. Remember, before Rieka adapting a design to a pre-op scan required multiple steps. Now we ensure that the scan pre-op model and the copy mirror option is activated in the dental DB to trigger the new and more efficient workflow. Rieka automatically used the margin and insert direction from the imported scan info file. The intraoral pre-op scan was detected, so we confirm with a click to continue with the already copied tooth. By making final adjustments in the free-forming step, we already finished this case. No need to go through so many steps anymore. Notification history. The bell icon on the top right of the screen opens the new notification history. Here you can review, copy and check all notifications organized in info, warning and error tabs. Screenshot and image management. To support communication and collaboration, we implemented a screenshot and image management for you. With this tool, you can capture the main view up to four times the resolution of your screen or capture an area manually. More than that, you can load, organize and edit them in an application of your choice. And with one click on save all images, you will find them inside your project folder ready to upload via dental share or mail. Simply and effective. If you prefer advanced editing software over paint, you can also set a professional app as default in our updated settings menu. Overlay. Our DentalDB offers new workflows for you. The reconstruction type overlay, for example, made for complex preparation types like three quarter and other complex non-convex preparations. In these cases, you benefit from a better initial proposal and improved adaption to preserve the design tooth shape. On stock abutment. Additionally, it is now possible to design implant based restorations on downloaded stock abutment libraries. After you selected this work type in the dental DB and started the design, you can choose stock abutment in the scan body matching step. We can rotate the abutment to select the ideal position and proceed without the need to define a margin 
or screw channel anymore. A great benefit also for the immediate load workflow. Exoplan integration. The integration to Exoplan is now more convenient. Just install the implant planning folder of Exoplan in the root folder of DentalCAD and restart the DentalDB. This is how you can use one common database and see the Exoplan icon in the upper right corner to start your 3D planning right away. DICOM incognito mode. The privacy of our patient sensitive data is important to us. Therefore, we implemented an incognito mode you can activate in the menu settings. Now a new button appear in the lower right corner to blur, for example, the patient's name inside the DICOM viewer. Bridge connector multiview. We love this tool. With this release, it can display additional outlines to help you deal with intersecting areas like the antagonist in this case, for more security. Smile Creator We also love the Smile Creator experience and with this release we significantly improved it once more. Now we can see the sections visualized in green that will be affected from our selected freeforming tool. After the design is done, we proceed with Next to select the tooth color. 2D Color Scale A new 2D color scale is available. Here you can easily find the right base and highlights color as well as the color shade that matches both your desired outcome and the patient photo. Split screen, preview and new visualization. If you like to toggle between the before and after view, you can make use of a new slider. Just enable the belonging checkbox in the settings menu to make that view available after a restart. Light and image adjustments. Also, you can adjust where the light and corresponding reflection on the teeth is coming from with the movement of your mouse. If you like to keep the current light setting, just click on Control and Space to jump to the next step right away. Smile Creator Report We implemented a new Smile Creator Report to support your communication and documentation. Now you can individualize the orientation and size and choose between light or dark theme. Feel free to individualize the content. After that, the report will be automatically saved in your project folder, but you can export or print also directly from the wizard and proceed with done. Import face scans. On top of this, the Smile Creator can now import and match 3D face scans. Ask your system integrator to enable this feature for you. Smile Window There's one more great feature inside the Smile Creator for you. A new Smile Window that is now available through the CAD workflow to enable an additional view of the current design within the patient photo. You can place it independently from the main CAD window, ideal for your multi-monitor setup. Now you can benefit from the in-face visualization while using all ExoCut's advanced tools like chain mode tooth placement and instant anatomic morphing. Model Creator – Quick Models The Model Creator has been improved as well and we introduced the new Quick Models for you. Let's select the plate as model quick as model type. Now the wizard is automatically creating the upper jaw, including the dice, then the antagonist, and finally the attachments for you. Magic! Quick models on implants. Let's design a plateless model with automatically generated drain holes where we can see the quick workflow once more. Again, we see the automatically generated model workflow creating upper and lower jaw with minimal interaction from our side. After all parts have been created, this model type auto generate plenty of drain holes for optimized 3D printing. Of course, design, option and parameters can still be customized via expert mode. Explanatory animated figures 
let's have a look at the options and parameters because we improved the usability for you a lot. Thanks to easy to understand animations when hovering with a mouse over a parameter. This is how it's fun to learn more about all these powerful options the model creator is offering to you. Freeform Gingiva Many customers wanted to be able to freeform a Gingiva mask, so let me create one around 1.6 to show you that with this release we have this option available for you via expert mode. Now you have the freedom to add, remove and smooth material you ask for. New Attachments We added several new attachments to the model creator. The iTero articulator, for example, snaps onto the model with a single click and the connectors automatically adjust to the model where you need them. Easy and convenient. New Options for Dentures As you know, we offer several options for printing or milling dentures. With this release, we added new options for you. Imagine you design an interim denture with still some residual teeth as part of your scan data. No problem for you, just select virtual extraction to include this step in the visit routine. Plus, a new option is the monoblock for try-in. By activating this setting, the monoblock only workflow will provide you with a single file without bridge connectors or tooth pockets for try-in. Individual presets Presets from previous designs can now also be used for single arch dentures. Library Manager for Dentures The Exocad Library Manager will help you to select and download beautiful illustrated libraries easily. This is how you can see at first sight the characteristics which makes it easier to choose between more than 4000 denture tooth shapes in over 650 libraries. Please have also a look at the PDF to know exactly the possibilities that comes with each library. Movement opposite as pair. Let me show you the Wii-Wise 2 setup step. Locked posterior relation. Like we know it from the Galway release. And a new movement opposite as pair. This is how we keep the occlusal contacts of upper and lower for speedy adjustments of the curve. Also, you can of course move upper and lower separate. User registration. Last but not least, we introduce a mandatory end-user registration with this release. But don't worry, it is easy to set up and will remember your login and password, so you don't need it day by day. As you could see in the last few minutes, the 3.1 release brings with it an incredible number of powerful innovations and tools that will guide you in a fast and flexible way through your everyday digital life. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.